You cannot find a better man to be your governor, Doug Mastriano. God is good, and all the time. <laughs> Any uh, freedom-loving Americans in the house here? <laughs> wow, 1 Corinthians one twenty-seven gives us all hope. God uses the foolish to confound the wise, and the weak to confound the strong, right? That's his story, and he uses people like you and me to change history. I always like to say when we make his story our story, we can change history. <laughs> But it's, a, it's been a time to try our souls. I'm, I'm looking across the, the past couple of years here, and I'm looking at some other champions out here that fought with us. And you remember when the schools shut down and they mashed up your kids, deprived your kids of uh, athletic opportunities, scholarships, of, of their education, of their prom, of life, masking them up for no, no scientific reason to do that. Remember your businesses, you know, essential, non-essential? Yes. Not essential? Not in my Pennsylvania, what do you say? Absolutely not. It was a dark time in Levine, you know, follow the science. You know, only a Democrat can get away with failed policies of sending the sick in their homes, killing thousands, and get away with it. And, and their darling, of course, would, would be promoted to Admiral, <laughs> Woman of the Year. Anyway. But uh, we, we, they like to call people who stand on the Constitution far right and extreme. I repudiate that. That is crap. That is absolutely not true. Actually, their party, which the media stands for and advocates for, they've gone extreme. They're the ones that sent the, the uh, sick back in the homes, their policies, Democrat policies and killed so many. That's extreme. That's extreme forcing your kids a mask up. That's extreme forcing healthcare workers to lose their job from not getting a jab. Yeah. 